control of our genetic destiny. We need to tap into the vast array of human genetic material, choose whatever genes we desire, and implant them directly into embryos. We need the ability to reinvent our genetic code at will. At Duke University, Dr. Charles Gersbaum has found a way to alter DNA with pinpoint accuracy. Up until recently, the only methods that you had to deliver new genes into cells had no control over where those genes went within the human genome. There were many unforeseen negative consequences to this approach. But with a technique called genome editing, humans are in the driver's seat of our own evolution. So what we're looking at is the genetic sequence that we're interested in modifying. With the genome editing technology, we really have the ability to either add, remove, or exchange DNA at any site in the genome that we're interested in. And it's a very simple concept. If you have a genetic disease, you can just replace it with a healthy copy of, of the defective gene. Gersbach and his team achieved this by creating synthetic enzymes. They're made up of proteins engineered to attach themselves to targeted sites. So what we've basically done is we've taken our recipe and we put the DNA blocks together according to that recipe and now this will assemble them into the final product. That final product? Enzymes that can cut and remove or alter the selected DNA. But getting them into the cell requires a microscopic Trojan horse. Anytime that you want to add or exchange genetic material inside of a cell, you need to find a way to deliver that genetic material across the barriers like the cell membrane and the nuclear membrane. We're taking viruses, we remove all of the disease-causing parts of the virus and replace them with genes that can, can cure disease. Safely inside the nucleus, the enzyme can find its target and replace the offending DNA. And what we see just by roughly inspecting the data that uh, we've actually managed to introduce highly efficient corrections to this population of cells very easily using our designer enzymes. Ideally, the development of these technologies is going to lead to a world where we don't have to worry about hereditary disease and we don't have to observe sick children that we're utterly unable to help, but it could also be used for augmentation or enhancing certain human traits. This could be a world where your baby comes with a health guarantee. If it's to edit out disease, that's got to be okay. But if it's to change eye color or to change body fat percentage or propensities toward these things, then maybe it starts to look a little trickier. If you hated the fact that your parents made you get a stupid haircut, wait until they're deciding your skin color, your height, or your figure. When do we cross the line and which kinds of lines are we willing to cross in moving um, us forward as either individuals or a society or as a, uh, as a species?